Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you part 3 of Baby Elements. Baby Elements has been designed by Sandra Geyer from Hooks and Yarn. I'll paste a link to the written pattern in the video description. For part 3 we're going to be making this lovely corner flower and we'll start turning our square blanket into a rectangle because the rectangle is actually the final shape. For baby elements I'm using four colors of Schepjes Callista yarn as well as the white Schepjes Soft Fun yarn. So these two yarns make up the um, color pack for baby elements. This week I'm doing the entire pattern in a 5mm hook. I'll take you step by step through all the rounds of makeup part 3. I want to thank you for watching. Round 23, I'm going to work with the white yarn on my hook again and we're going to start in any front post stitch here with the new corner. And there work a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. So in that stitch, like a single chain one, I'm just going to hook up a stitch marker again so that I uh, easily find that chain one space later on if I need it. Not sure if I need it actually. And single crochet. There we go. So that's the new corner. Single chain one single in the front post stitch. First straight edge chain one skipping a stitch and then work a single crochet in the chain one space. So I'm going to skip that stitch there and go to the chain one space here work a single in there. Chain one skipping a stitch that's going to be the single here work a single crochet in the next stitch which is this front post double two together that you worked around the leaf. So a single crochet in there. Chain one and then a single crochet in the immediately in the next stitch. So that's this single crochet here. So not to the chain one space. So that's single there. A single in there. Chain one. And now we're going to go to the chain one space. So here work a single. Chain one. We're going to do seven more. So this is one, chain one, two, chain one, three, chain one, four, chain one, five singles, chain one, number six, chain one, and this here is number six. Seven. There we go. Seven single crochets extra. Chain one, and then a single crochet in the single before the front post stitch. So here, so you're going to skip that stitch. See that one there? Then a single crochet in here before the front post. Continue by working a front post double around the front post stitch here for around 21. So you're just going to have to fold your work a little bit to get around that stitch. Skipping a stitch to the back, going to be that one. Work a half double, so you're going to skip that stitch. Then work a half double in the next three stitches. One, number two here falls in the middle. Just move everything up a bit. That's two half doubles. And this is three half doubles there. We're now going to work a front post double around this front post double from round 21. And you're really going to have to just go a little forward to make that stitch. So around that stitch I'm just going to bring my 
fabric together so that I don't open up that loop too much. And there, so that's that front post double around that stitch. You can see this kind of pulls your work a bit, that's correct. You're going to skip three stitches to the back and in essence you're going to work in the next chain one space here. So work a single crochet in there, in that first chain one space. If you go look to the back, you've got quite a few stitches there to the back. In, just in that next chain one space there, work a single. Chain one, and then a single crochet in the next chain one space. Another chain one. Now we do eight more. That's one single, two, three, four, five, six. eight single crochets, another chain one. Now we're here at the corner. So you've got those two singles, then you get to the front post stitch. So I'm going to skip that single, the first one, then go to the second, which is part of the corner stitch. And there work a single crochet. And now you're back at the corner, so that means a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Single, chain one. Just, just for the, just to be sure, I'm just going to hook up my stitch marker again. And then a single. There we go. Go all the way around on your entire edge. You can see here how that this, this does curl in a bit, but as your work grows this this will flatten out and when you get to your first stitch here just close there with a slip stitch. Round 24 this round is slightly different to the rounds we've done before because we're going to work the corner in a different way. I have color 4 on my hook so that's the color we're starting with. We're going to work a front post double around the front post double for two rows down and here in the chain one space work five single crochets, so that's quite a squeeze, and then another front post double. Just gonna yarn over. So the first one is of course a standing double. We go front post double around that front post stitch. Then in the chain one space work five single crochets. That's one going to remove the stitch marker because I really need all the room I can get. That's one and oh, my yarn is just rolling around on the table. That's one, two, three, four and five single crochets in that chain one space and complete the corner with another front post double here around this same front post. And one, two, there we go. So that's your corner stitch there. So it's quite a large corner. We're now going to skip quite a few stitches to the back. We're going to skip the corner single. Well, that's not going to be hard because that's that little stitch there. So that's uh, that stitch there. You're going to skip that. And this chain one space. And that next single crochet there. And then come to the stitch after and work a single in there. So that's where we're going to work a single. You see you were skipping that chain one and the single here and then go to the next chain one space and work a single crochet in there. Chain one, 
and now we're going to work a single crochet chain one until we're here. So that's quite a few more. Just continue this chain one. And the last single crochet, so you see you've got this whole stretch of singles here. Chain one. Going to skip the next single crochet and then go to the front post stitch here, work a single in there. Chain one. A single crochet in the first of these three half doubles. So a single crochet in that first stitch and also in the next. So those so you're working a single crochet in those two half doubles and you've got that chain one there. Just that little chain one. We're now going to work a front post double two together around these two stitches from round 22. So that that first front post and this this last one here. So this this middle one we're going to leave that that first and that last one. A front post double two together. So yarn over. I'm going to have to fold my work to get around that first one. Take off two loops. Again yarn over. Then come to this third one here. Take off two loops and take all three off. There you go. Going to skip one stitch to the back, and then make a single crochet in the front post stitch and the stitch after. So you're going to skip. See there, I'm skipping one stitch. Then go to the next, which is here, the front post stitch. So work a single crochet in there, and also in the next. So that's the single crochet. You work a front. You work a single in the single. Chain one. Then a single crochet here in the chain space. Chain one, and we're going to continue until we're here to the just about to the corner. I'm going to make a few more of these. Chain one, single crochet, chain one, and the last single crochet. You have here. See, I've now done this entire stretch here. You have two singles left before the chain one corner space. I've just got my um, slip stitch join there. So those two singles I've got left before the corner. To do a chain one, skipping the next stitch, and then go into the same stitch here for me that has this slip stitch join. So that's a single crochet before the chain one space. Work a single in there. And again remember that chain one space. And now you can work that same corner we did when we started and that's quite an impressive corner again. So that means around the front post double here, work a front post double. In the chain one space work five singles. That's one. I'm just going to remove the stitch marker. One and this is two, three, four, five singles. So you're really squishing everything in there, and then finish with another front post double that same stitch that already had the front post double. It's around that stitch there. That's your corner. Go all the way around. And when you're done here, you're going to have to work one last single crochet and that one will be a little bit hidden behind here. It will be that stitch there. You're going to work a front post double. You're going to work a stitch in single crochet just before this first front post double. And then you're going to close on that stitch with a slip stitch. Round 25, we're going to use the white yarn again. 
and we're going to attach this yarn in the back loop of the first single crochet. If we have these five singles here in the center of, um, that make up the corner, in that first single, so that's that stitch there, and in the back loop, we're going to attach yarn with the slip stitch. And continue, work a slip stitch on all of those singles in the back loop. So on all five singles you will have a slip stitch. And that's the last one. When you come round after the end you'll work a slip stitch in that first one again and then you'll have your entire pattern round. We're going to skip the front post double here. We're going to skip that and then work a single crochet in the single immediately after. A single crochet in there. Chain one. Then a single in the next chain one space which we will repeat until we are just about here. So we're going to work quite a few more of these. So let's chain one. Single crochet in the chain space, chain one. Single crochet in the chain space. Continue until you're to the center of your work. And chain one and then the last one is in this chain one space here before you get, you've got those center five stitches there, there's a chain one just before that, that's the last one, your last single crochet. There. See how you've now worked a whole stretch of these up to there. So that's in that last chain one space. Now I'm going to work th um, three front post stitches. The first one is around this white front post stitch, you're going to work a front post double around that, so you're just going to have to fold your work a bit to really get around that stitch. Front post double, followed by a front post single around this front post double two together. So that one, work a front post single and that really means just tugging your work a bit bring everything together and then again a front post double around this white front post double here and I'm just going to hold my work tight that that loop doesn't open up too much so you've now got three front post stitches to the back you'll have five stitches we're going to skip those Actually, what you're going to continue to work again is if you look here, you see that's the first chain one space. That's where we're going. In there, work a single crochet. And if you then look to the back, you'll see all those stitches that you're skipping. But it's easier just to go to that first chain one space there. Work a single crochet in that. Then chain one, and a single again in the next chain one space. Continue to just about to the corner. I'm going to work this whole stretch until you're well, until you're there. So I'm going to work a few more of these, and the last one here in that last chain one space there. Chain one. You now you have a single crochet, and then you've got the front post double here. I'm going to skip that single. In this front post double, work a single. We're now at those five single crochets in the center of the of the corner, and on all of those going to work a back loop slip stitch. So that's the first single, go to the back loop and a slip stitch. It's so one, two. Three, four, and five, and uh, 
these slip stitches here are the same as our starting slip stitches there. So what we're going to do now is exactly the same, which means skipping the first stitch here and then that front post double and then work a single crochet in that single. And then go all the way around until you're back to your first position here. So you're going to work a single crochet in that front post stitch and then a slip stitch here in this first stitch and then close or, or just actually just open up your loop. So when you're here you can just cut your yarn and pull your loop open. We are now going to work a short row only in the corner. So we're only going to be working on the corner stitches. I have colored two on my hook. So this is color two. And we're going to start with a standing front post double crochet around for me it's the purple, it's this front post double here from the corner. So I'm just going to yarn over because this is a standing one. Around that front post stitch work a standing front post double crochet. There we go. We're going to work cluster stitches, which is in essence a double crochet two together, through the five single crochets here in the center. And when we do so, we're going to work both through the chain one loop that's still available here, and the slip stitches, both loops of the slip stitches. That's how we're going to be making these cluster stitches. I'm just of course need to go to the first one. I'm going to yarn over, that's for the first um, double crochet two together. And you see here's the first of those five single crochets and that little loop, I need that loop because that's the front loop of it. So you might have to help that just a little bit with your nail to get under that loop. And take both loops from the slip stitch that's in the back loop of that single crochet. Grab your yarn, bring forward through all of that, take off two loops. Yarn over and then through the same position, pick up loop and this is a little, it is all a little tight. And then take off two loops, you've got three loops on your hook, take them off. That's your cluster stitch worked. Chain one and now we're going to do the same in the second um, the second stitch. So again another cluster. So we're going to work these clusters in stitches two, three, four and five with chain ones in between. So that's what we're going to do. So the second one is again through this front loop here and both loops of the slip stitch and this really is all a little tight, I know. And the next one it kind of helps if you when you um, pull, uh, bring your hook up uh, through it, if you push up a bit so that you don't snag it quite so easily here in the stitches underneath. Chain one then come to the third position, which is uh, this one here. And also through those slip stitches. And sometimes you just need to help those loops a little bit. There we go. And while I bring through, I just push my hook up a bit. And that is one loop one leg I should say, and that is the second one. Oh, this one really doesn't, there we go. That is two, three loops on your hook which you take off, chain one, go to position number four,
two, take them off, chain one, and the last one here is position number five. So you will have five of these. There go. I just believe I've snagged some of the purple yarn to the back. There we go. That's the only the slip stitch. three loops on your hook again, take them off. And there we go. To finish the corner, you've got the front post stitch here, work a front post stitch around that. Like so. That completes the small corner, which means I can now cut my yarn, and you can open up this loop. That completes one corner. You need to do exactly the same on your other three corners as well. So on this corner and all your corners. Work this little um, this, this, this little shell and then you're ready for round 26 where we'll be going all the, just um, all the way around again. Round 26. This round I'm going to do with color 4. I have a slip knot on my hook. We're going to start in the um, short rows we made on the last round. We're going to work single crochets in between the stitches. And we're going to start in the space between the first uh, front post stitch and that first cluster. So in that space, so not so much in any of the stitches, but in between there, work a single crochet. See, I'm really in between those two stitches, work a single. Chain one, and then between the next two st um, clusters, that, that's actually a chain one space in there. But you work a single crochet in there. Chain one, and a single, chain one, single crochet chain one, the next space, single crochet, chain one, and then here at the end, just between those, that last cluster and that first, or that last stitch there, so in between there also work a single crochet. Chain one, start of the next repeat unit, now we're going to skip three stitches to the back here, and you see that's that single crochet, chain one, single crochet. So those three, and then come to the next chain space and work a single. Chain one, and this you're going to repeat ten more times. So you're going to have eleven single crochets. Actually, at the end of this um, round, you're going to have 23 single crochets on on the straight edge between the, um, the flowers, and this is actually a good checkpoint for you. Now, if you've noticed that you've got too many or too few, then use this skipping to the back here to to, to help you to to fudge that. If you don't have enough, skip an extra or. Uh, if you have too few, work an extra, but um, use this round to get your stitch count back up or down to wherever it's supposed to be because it's sometimes so easy to make a small mistake somewhere and then your stitch counts off. You need one more, it's this last chain one space here. It's the last one. There we go. So you've got now. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 single crochets here. In the center, chain 1. You're going to skip those two front, those two stitches and come to the center single crochet, that front post single. In there, work a single. Then chain 1. Skipping the front post treble, come to the next chain one space. Oh, sorry, that's the next single crochet, I mean that next single, work a single in there, chain one, and then in the next chain one space work a single crochet, 
chain one. I'm going to do that single nine more times. So this is one, two, and that will bring us to the next edge of flower, I should say. Two, this is three. And work this a bit fast. Four, five singles, six, seven. Eight. I'm not going out a few, I know. Eight. And this is number nine. There we go. Nine single crochets. There are three stitches left now. A single, a chain one, single before you get to the flower. And to double check, you should have 23 single crochets now here in the purple for me. So let me just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty. Three single crochets. So double check your count here. If you've got 23 singles, all is well. And if not, use this round to, to fudge. For example, you have an extra stitch left here. If you've got too few, work an extra one in there, for example. That's a way that you could get your stitch counts up again. To finish the round, chain one. And then in that space between the single of that front post treble front post double and the cluster work is single there we go and, and that single is exactly the same as the standing single we started with over there so repeat everything all the way around and after you've worked your last single crochet here chain one and then close on that stitch with the slip stitch We're going to work another short row, that means we're again only going to be working here in the corners and for this row we're using color 1, so I have color 1 on my hook here. We're going to start before the corner. So here you have these single crochets and chain 1s, you've got those last two singles that you worked before the flower corner, those last two in that chain 1 space in between there, work a single crochet. And this is, of course, a standing single crochet. Followed by a front post double around this first front post double here of the flower. I'm just going to fashion this a bit and so just pull that stitch to the back. I still have those yarn tails, so that'll help to make this um, edge look nice and sharp. Chain one. And now we're going to work a single crochet popcorn in the chain one space that's above the cluster. That's actually what we're going to be doing on all of these. We're going to be working popcorn in those chain one spaces above the cluster. So you see here's that first chain one space there. So you've got those two singles in there. Work a single crochet crochet and actually this is the first of five so that's one you're gonna to have to squish them in here that's one two three four five single crochets then just like a normal popcorn just open up that loop and come back to the first stitch you're just gonna to have to pull that up to see exactly where that is, that first single crochet. See there's a chain one and here's the single crochet. Pick up the loop, pull tight and then pull through that first stitch and chain one to complete this um, single crochet popcorn. So this is a bit of an unusual stitch, gives the same textured look but, uh, but just much more compact. Chain one. So that's actually that's a normal chain one. That first chain one belonged to the popcorn. Now you're making another chain one. And then come to the next space. It's here. And work a popcorn. This um, single crochet popcorn. So that's one, two.
three, four, five single crochets. Open up, come back to this first one. I'm really just going to have to pull open to see where it is because it's so compact. Pull through, chain one. So now I've got two of these popcorns. We're going to have five of them. And chain one. Come to the next space here above the cluster. So that chain one space there. Be sure you don't snag anything. That's one single, two. Three, because it's also tight, it's easy to snag something. Three, four, and five singles open up. Come back to that first stitch. Set your hook, pick up the yarn, pull the loop through the first stitch. Chain one, that's still part of the popcorn. You've got three, chain one comes number four, so in the next chain space above the cluster. If you can't see it, just open up your work and you see, ah, there it is. So that's one, two, three, four, number five first stitch pick up the loop and pull through chain one which still belongs to the popcorn and one more chain one and then we've got the last cluster here. So that's the last chain one space there. And then that will give us popcorn number five, a single crochet popcorn that is. And so that's one, two, three, four. Five, and go back to the first stitch again, pick up the loop, pull through, chain one. So now you have five popcorns. Chain one, that's still part of the repeat, popcorn chain one repeat. And now here on this last front post double, work a front post double around that stitch as well. See how your work kind of pulls a bit in this round, but don't worry. When everything's a bit larger, it's a it, it'll flatten itself out. We're going to skip the next single crochet here on round um, 26. It is. You see that single and that single. So in that next, so in this chain space between the first and the second single, in that chain space there, work a single crochet. Now you can cut your yarn because you're all done. And that's your little corner round here. And I've still got some yarn tails here to the back, but I'll work them in as my work gets a bit bigger and I've got more fabric to do so. So you'll see that it really uh, curls in, it, it pulls a bit, but uh, don't worry, when, when we work the next few rounds this will flatten itself out. So that was on the one corner, do this on the other three also, and then we can go all the way around again. Round 27, I have the white yarn on my hook again, and we're going to start before the corner, you see here's the corner we did in the previous round, you have the chain one space that's unworked, that last chain one sp space here on the edge in there. You're going to start in there with a standing single crochet. 
that's the first stitch. Chain one and now we're going to start a series of popcorns. Our first popcorn is going to be between the front post double here and that single crochet. So you see here's that first single and the front post double. Between those two we're going to work a popcorn. So that's going to be five double crochets in this space. And we're not really working in either of those stitches, but kind of in between those two. So we're going to work five doubles. So that's one, two, three, four, five doubles. Open up, come back to the first double, insert your hook in there, pick up the loop, close that loop, pull through the first stitch and chain one. That's your popcorn stitch. Then chain one. So that chain one, that second chain one is part of the pattern and the first chain one is part of the popcorn. Now going to come kind of to the next space that's between this front post stitch and that popcorn there. And in that space, there's actually a bit of a chain one space there, work a popcorn. And again it's between the front post and this first um, single crochet popcorn. So that's one, again, five doubles, two, three, four, five doubles. Open up, come back to the first stitch, pick up the loop, and pull that loop through the first stitch. Chain one to finish the popcorn and then chain one because we're working that between popcorns. We're going to skip the next V popcorn here and make a popcorn in between that space between the next two of these little popcorns. And there work five doubles. One, two, three, four, five doubles. Opening up, come back to the first stitch, close, pull through, chain one. That's the popcorn completed, one extra chain one for the pattern. So we've now done three popcorns in, well kind of in those first three natural spaces you have there. In the next space, this next space, we're going to work two popcorns in the one space. So that means in here we're going to work five doubles the popcorn, chain one and then again work five doubles. So you're going to have to kind of squish them all in here. All those doubles. So four and five. Come back to the first stitch. Chain one. To close the popcorn chain one between popcorns and then work another series of five doubles to make another popcorn in the same space. So you're really going to have to cram them in there. Three, four, four, five doubles back to the first one, pull through, 
chain one to complete the popcorn and chain one. So you see you've now got two popcorns in that one position. The next position, which is here in that space, again going to going to repeat this so popcorn, chain one, popcorn in that space. So in here goes a another popcorn, so there's again five of these doubles. We're going to be working quite a few popcorns in this round because we're going to be doing this on every corner of course. So there we go, five doubles. You open up. Chain one to complete the popcorn. Chain one between popcorns, and then another popcorn in that same space. So you're really going to have to squeeze them in. Two, three, four, five popcorns. Sorry, five doubles to make a popcorn, chain one to complete the popcorn and another chain one for the pattern. We're now going to come to the next space and here you're going to work one popcorn in, then this space a popcorn and between those last two stitches of popcorn. So you're going to work three more and then you'll have ten in total. So in that space here, your next space between the two single crochet pops we work another popcorn two three four five come back to the first stitch pull through chain one one extra chain one this space between this last V and the f and the front post stitch. So work popcorn. I've just got this stitch opening up here, that loop. So I'm just going to need to work away that yarn tail, and that won't open up so much. Four. And five. And come back. To that first one there and pull through chain one and then you've got the last corner there or that last um, stitch of the corner and here kind of again in between so not so much in that single but kind of below it so you see that space there To work popcorn. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Come back to the front stitch, chain one to complete the popcorn. And now if you just look at your work you see you have ten of these. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten popcorns. The straight edge which we're going to make now, we're going to start here in this first chain space. I'm going to work a chain one and then come to this first chain space there and work a single. So you see there's the, um, the short flower row and then this first chain space here. And work a single crochet. I'm going to do nine more of these. Chain one. So one, two, three, and nine. 
So now I've done the repeat nine more times. So you now have ten singles here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten single crochets. And you're now at the center of your work. I'm going to work a front post double two together around the, these two white front post stitches. So we're going to bring those together. So yarn over around the first one, pick up, take off two loops, and come to the second one, pick up, take off two loops, three loops on your hook, which you're going to take off in one go. Now to skip the stitch immediately behind, if you look here you see there's a single crochet, you're going to skip that, then come to the next chain one space and work a single crochet in there. Chain one and now you're going to do this eight more times. So that's one, two, three, eight single crochets, chain one. So now I've done the repeat eight more times and then next single crochet that I'm going to work here is the same as the standing single we started with. There. So that single crochet is exactly the same as this one here. And then if you count your singles, now you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 singles on this side of the two together, and same as you also had 10 on that side. So I can do a chain one and then here make the first popcorn between those first two stitches. That would be where I would start now. So go all the way around and then here when you're going to work a single crochet in that chain space, chain one and then close here on the first stitch. Round 28, I have color 4 on my hook and we're going to start in the flower corner between popcorns number 5 and 6. So you've got here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So in the space between those two, so it's exactly in the center. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on one side and 5 on the other. Oh, oh my two cats are having an argument. Then exactly in that space, going to start with a single crochet. You're going to work a corner here. It's going to be a single crochet, chain one. That, that chain one is your corner, so I'm just going to mark that with a stitch marker. And then work another single crochet in the same space. So you've got single crochet, chain one, single crochet in that space there. If I just turn my work a bit. You're now going to work, um, in essence you're going to work a single crochet in every chain space and chain ones in between. It's more or less what you're going to be doing. In the middle I'll just show you how to deal here with the center, but that is more or less what it comes down to. So I'm just going to go chain one, in the next space, work a single crochet. Chain one, go to the next chain one space, single crochet. Chain one, next space, single crochet. Chain one, next space, single crochet. Chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet. See here how you're working those stitches behind there. Just continue this and then I'll see you here. And I have all these single crochets with the chain ones in between and now you're here to the center. You've got that single, the two together and a single crochet. So chain one, 
skip the single in the double two together work a single crochet chain one skipping the next single go to the chain one space work a single crochet chain one and a single in the next space and continue this until you're in essence to the flower again so chain one going to continue this working is chain one single crochet in the chain space also here and here and here and I'll just see you here at this point when you're between popcorns two and three in that chain one space with a single crochet see how you've worked singles in all those spaces with chain ones in between chain one I'm almost to the next corner so here's between numbers um, uh, four and five going to work a single crochet chain one and this is always just to keep in mind that you don't go autopilot so now I'm between popcorns five and six so that's a single crochet chain one mark your corner that you don't have to but it just makes life easier for you the next round you can actually find that corner and single crochet and especially also if you mark the corner you you won't accidentally just go around autopilot you know that you only work one single crochet here chain one a single and a single and that you forget to work this corner so um that's another way if you had place your stitch marks that you show you won't forget that so four corners so this corner is the same as um, this corner here I'm just going to zoom out a moment so you can just do the stitch counts because after this round if we just look at where we are right now you'll see you've got it between your corners so between this corner and this corner you should have 29 single crochet so that's not counting the corner itself so the minus the the corner stitches on either side so minus those two then you should have 29 single crochets along this edge so just count that to make sure that you're still correct on your stitch count round 29 I have the white yarn on my hook I'm actually going to be using the white yarn for quite a few rounds so uh, keep your yarn attached after every round you don't need to cut for the rest of part 3 we're going to start in any chain 1 corner space I've got here the single chain 1 single and there start with a cluster and that means we're going to yarn over we're going to hold on to that to make a standing cluster in that space take off two loops yarn over in the same space take off two loops you have three loops on your hook take them off that's your standing cluster chain one this is your new corner because in the same chain one space I'm just going to remove this chain one we're going to work another cluster so that's it's a, it's a double crochet two together worked in the same stitch and then take them off and that space there that's your new corner so I'm just going to hook up stitch marker in there and there you go that's your corner in the next chain one space that's and that was Space there, work a cluster. One, two, and take them off. Chain one, and in the next space here, chain one space, work a single. I'm going to do this four more times. So chain one. one single chain two I just need to rotate my work chain two this was this is the second chain 
third repeat chain and the fourth repeat. There we go. So now you have five single crochets worked with a chain one before each of them. Chain one. And now we're going to work a cluster on each of the next nine chain one spaces. So, so just cluster cluster after after one another. So we're going to one, two, three, four, going to work nine of them. I'll show you the first two. So in the next space here, cluster. Take them off. And then immediately go to the next stitch. Now we work a cluster. So one. And take them off. And again, immediately in the next stitch work cluster. So I've now done three of these. See, I've now done three. So work six more, and I'll just see you here. I've worked nine of those clusters. I'm now here to the center of the square. And here around this front post, actually, this are two together. We're going to work a front post treble around that front post stitch there. Work a front post treble. And then continue and in the next nine chain one spaces work a treble, um, sorry, a cluster again. So in the next chain one space a cluster. So we're going to work nine of them. So this is going to be symmetrical. It's so one and two. So you can see you've got two there and now we're going to work eight more and then I'll just see you there when you've worked nine of these clusters. Just work those nine clusters. You see there's a treble then you've got nine clusters. Now we're going to work a series of single crochets again. So that means chain one. In the next chain space here work a single. And do this four more times. So we're going to have five singles again. Let's repeat number two, three, and four. So you have five single crochets and a chain one before each of those. Chain one. And then in the last chain one space, before we get to the corner, we work a cluster stitch. One. Two legs. There we go. And now we're to the corner, which is going to be a cluster chain one and a cluster in the chain one corner space. And one thing that you'll notice, I'm going to continue after I've made this corner because our work is going to become asymmetrical from this round onwards and so I've just got my yarn hopelessly in a knot here because it's just those last few yards of the ball and that just always tends to knot itself hopelessly. So that's the corner cluster, chain one, cluster. I'm just going to move the stitch marker. There we go. And now we're going to continue on the next edge because, like I said, from now on our work is going to be asymmetrical. That means we're going to have two sides which we repeat and not one side which we repeat. So to start the next edge, and the start is actually the same as the edge that we've just made. So in the next chain space work a cluster. Take them both off. And now we're again going to work five single crochets with a chain one in between. So it's chain one, single, one, two, 
three, four, five singles, one, two, three, four, five singles, chain one, and now comes the point where it's slightly different, we're going to work 18 clusters in the next chain one space, so we're not going to work that treble in the middle like we've just done here. Remember we worked that treble there? We're not going to do that on this edge. So here you're just going to work a cluster in 18 chain 1 spaces. So in the next chain 1 space work a cluster. So you're going to have slight asymmetry between your edges and that will become more and more as the blanket grows this asymmetry. So I've now worked three of these cluster groups in those three chain spaces. Work 15 more and then I'll just see you for the last part of this edge. I have 18 cluster stitches all here along the edge and now we just need to do the last bit before the corner. This chain one. In the next chain space here, work a single. Chain one. You're going to have five of these singles. Two. And here's number five. So five singles. Chain one. And then in the last stitch before you get to the corner, that last space there, work a cluster. And this is of course the same as on the other side. Then in the corner, you work the same corner as before, so that's a cluster, chain one, and a cluster. Chain one, I'm just going to remove the stitch marker and in the same space there, work another cluster. And that chain one space there is your new corner. And there we go. If you look at your work, you see on this side you've got the front post treble that you did not work here. So you're going to now, this edge, these two edges you're going to repeat on this side and this side. That means here you're going to have a front post treble, they will be across each other. And then on this side here you will not have that front post treble. So repeat these two edges and when you get here to the first stitch, where is it? Here, here's your corner. You're going to close there with a slip stitch and then leave your yarn attached because in the next round we're going to continue with the white and now we'll have this asymmetry so you'll be working two edges um, and then repeating that so you won't have four edges but actually only two to work because it's one long repeat. Round 30. I'm in that um, first cluster stitch here with a slip stitch and we're continuing with the white yarn in this round. And to go with a slip stitch to the chain corner space and then do a chain one. This is not a stitch, this is just to get you to the correct working height. Then we're going to work a new corner, that's going to be a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. So a single, chain one, which is the new corner, so I'm just going to move my stitch marker up over the chain one and then another single crochet in that same space. So that's the new corner made. Chain one, I'm just going to rotate my work a bit. Chain one, that was that. Then in the first cluster stitch here, going to work a single. So it's here in this first cluster. That's still from the previous corner. So you've got another one there. So in that first one, work a single. 
chain one and also a single in the next stitch yeah the next cluster stitch chain one and then a single crochet in the space between this cluster and then the first single so in there work a single crochet chain one single crochet in the next space I'm going to do two more chain one single in the next space chain one and a single in the next space there we go we're now going to work a cluster stitch in the chain space here so you've got those last two single crochets in that space chain one space going to work a cluster so in there that's one and two complete the cluster and then we're going to do another cluster in this chain space between that single and this first cluster so in that space there also work a cluster stitch one We're going to skip the very first cluster stitch. It's going to be that one. So, so that's that stitch there. We're going to skip that stitch, and then go to the next, which is this one, and work a cluster on that. So one, two, complete the cluster. We're going to work eight of them. So this is the first one, and that will bring you here to the middle of your of, of this edge. Show you one more. So on the next stitch, work a cluster. So those were the first two. Work six more, and then I'll see you when you've completed um, number eight. So those eight. I've worked those clusters, so eight of them. And your next stitch here is the front post treble from the previous round. We're going to work um, a cluster around this stitch, so kind of like a front post cluster. So around that stitch. So you work, yeah, it's, it's a, f a front post cluster, let me call it that. And then take them off. And then come to the next stitch here, which is the cluster stitch you're going to work a cluster on that and that's the first of nine so you're going to work a cluster on every cluster stitch you have so there's the first one so you're going to work eight, eight more and that will bring you here and that's the point where I'll see you again done the repeat of the clusters nine times I have nine of those clusters there after the front post stitch and now you're at the space here before the first single. In that space going to work a cluster stitch. And there we go, a cluster stitch. Chain one. And now we're going to start working single crochets again until we get to the corner. Work a single crochet in this first chain space. Do five more. That's one single chain. So you've got chains in between. It's two, three, chain. And let me just get my yarn. Three. Number four here is in your last space. Chain one. I'm going to skip the. Um, you've got two clusters before the corner, we're going to skip the first one and then go to the second which is just before the corner and work a single crochet in there. Chain one and now you're at the corner so the corner is again a single chain one and a single chain one. I'm just going to hook the stitch marker on the chain one 
and work single. There we go. So that was the first edge we work. So now we're going to do the second edge. So I'm just going to rotate everything again, and it's it's similar to what we've just done. So it's chain one. Then in that first cluster stitch here, work a single crochet. That's a corner, that one in the corner there. Chain one. Now a single crochet again on the next cluster, so that's going to be this one here. Work a single in there. Chain one. Now a single crochet in the first space, so between that cluster and the first single crochet worker, single in there, chain one, single crochet in the next space, chain one, you need to work two more, so single crochet, chain one, and another single. And there we go. Chain one, got a lot of chain ones chain one and then again a cluster stitch here in this space between the last two single crochets. So you can see how this is very similar to the first edge. And then work another cluster in the next space here so between that last single and this first cluster. So another cluster in there. So one and two legs. And there we go. Again we're going to skip the first cluster, that's that one, and then come to the second one and work a cluster stitch in there. Skip that, come to the second, and that's going to be your cluster stitch there. And that one is the first of 17. And if you work all 17, you will get up to here, up to this last cluster stitch. So work all of these so that you see there's no front post stitch. You're just going to work a cluster stitch on all of them until you're here and then I'll see you there. After having made 17 cluster stitches, so uh, counting from that first one there to here it's 17, we're going to have the next chain one space here, work another cluster in there. So that's before that single crochet. And two. Chain one. And now we're going to work five, um, six single crochets again. So this is first one, chain one, and we should repeat five more times. Two, we have six in total. Three, four. Number five here is in that last chain space. Chain one. We're going to skip the first cluster, then come to the second cluster that's just before the corner. Work a single in there. Chain one. And I'm going to rotate everything a bit and then here work the corner which is again a single chain one that chain one's on your corner so I'm going to move the stitch marker up and close the corner with another single you're now at the same point we were when we started this round so the very first corner because your next edge here has that treble here that you're going to work a front post stitch around. So go all the way around and when you so repeat this entire stretch once more and when you're back to the start here you're going to close on that first single crochet. So you're not going to so the chain one you're going to skip here this first single close on there with a slip stitch and leave your yarn attached. Round 31. Currently in that stitch with a slip stitch, that last, that first stitch there, that single crochet, I'm just going to go to the chain one space 
with a slip stitch. Now we're ready to start the round. I'm going to work a double crochet. Now my first double crochet I'm going to do a chain 2 here. Depending on your tension you might want to do a chain 3 here if you're a very tight crocheter. So that's a double crochet, that's a corner stitch, followed by a half double. And I'm actually going to mark the half double there. I'm just going to mark that half double. Chain one. And then in the same corner space, work a single crochet. So this might feel like a very strange corner to you, but you're going to start really making your blanket asymmetrical now. So that was your corner, was a double a half double, chain one and a single. Then on the first straight edge, chain one and then a single crochet in the next chain one space. If you look here, you see there's a chain one space there. I'm just going to work in there. Chain one space in there. chain one. I'm going to do this five more times. So that's one, two, three, four, and there's the next one here is five more times. Chain one, and now we're going to work a single crochet between between this single and that first cluster. So kind of in between here. Okay. Sorry, going to work a single crochet in there. We're going to skip the next cluster. Make it chain one. And again work a single crochet between oh so, so in the next cluster. So you've got going to skip that first one, do the chain one, then make a single crochet in the next cluster. And we're going to do this nine more times. Chain one, and then in the next cluster work a single. That's one, two. Three, eight, chain one and nine. Here, repeat number nine falls in the front post treble cluster. I'm going to work a single crochet, a front post single around that cluster stitch, this front post cluster stitch here right in the middle, and then in the cluster immediately after here, work another single crochet. So you have here well, three singles in a row. Going to work chain ones and single crochets again. So chain one and a single crochet in the next cluster. This stitch. Repeat this eight more times. Chain one one, two, three, and eight. Chain one. You're now at this first single crochet here as you go towards the corner, and in this space between that last cluster and the first single, work a single crochet in there chain one and then we're going to come to the next chain space and work a single and do this five more times chain one another single one two three four 
and number five here is in that last chain space before the corner chain one and now we're going to work a corner and that's again going to be a very interesting corner we're going to work a single crochet chain one a half double and I'm going to mark that half double again so just a moment to mark the half double and a double crochet there you go so you see this corner is mirrored from the previous corner and now we're ready to start this straight edge again so I'm just going to rotate my work here start by working a cluster in the first chain one space so again there's your first chain one space so that's in there between those first two singles so you work a cluster stitch and then we're going to skip the next single crochet it's going to be on that stitch then come to the next space work another cluster stitch Two. So now you've got two clusters. This is actually going to work four more. You're going to have six in total. So that first one, and then we repeat five more times. It's two. You're going to work six in every chain one space. Three. So I need one more repeat. So I need to repeat it five times. Then I have six clusters in total. There we go. We're now at. We've now arrived here at the cluster stitches. We're going to work a cluster st stitch in each of these. So in each cluster stitch, you work. A cluster and then you're going to have 20 of these clusters that you work a stitch in this one and this is two so continue and work one in each one of these clusters and then I'll just see you here when you're towards the end just worked 20 cluster stitches so starting from that first cluster stitch that stitch there that first one there and that first cluster that one there worked up until here that's 20 so now I've got a few more stitches to the end in the next space it's kind of a bit of a space here between that single crochet and that last cluster so in there work another cluster stitch then skip the single crochet and in the chain one space here work another cluster you're going to do this five more times so in the next five chain spaces you work a cluster stitch so again you're going to have six actually seven here on this side you're going to have seven clusters since the center stitches that's going to bring your total to 33 Three. So you should have 33 cluster stitches at, uh, at the end of this row, on this edge, only on this edge. And that's the last one there. And there we go. So now you've got 33 cluster stitches. So you've gone that last chain one that you've worked the last um, cluster stitch. You're going to skip the single crochet here in the corner. So you're going to skip that stitch. And I can start and working a corner again, the same one we, we started with. So that means we're going to start with a double crochet. Double crochet in this corner. 
followed by a half double which is your stitch that I'm going to mark again that half double chain one and a single crochet in that same space again a very asymmetric corner and this is also the corner that we started with so that means on this edge we're going to now do a chain one in between those first two stitches in that space they work a single crochet and then again do that five more times and then work all the single crochets here all these cluster stitches when you get here to the center remember that front post single go all the way around and when you get here back to your first stitch you're going to work this last cluster in that last chain chain one space there and then close on this double crochet for me that's a chain two but close on that double with the slip stitch now in the chain two corner there on round 31 so we're now going to start round 32 for round 32 first make a slip stitch into the half double here into our corner stitch that half double so now again going to make a corner and that's again going to be a very asymmetric corner first stitch is a double crochet I'm going to do a chain two here for my first double so double crochet followed by a half double in the same stitch so in that half double stitch Again, just going to mark this half double because that's my new corner. Chain one and a single crochet in the same stitch. So that's my first corner. I'm going to rotate my work. Now on this straight edge, chain one, I'm going to make a lot of single crochets here on this single crochet edge chain one and a single between the first two um, there's a chain one space there between that half double and that single so in that space there work a single chain one come to the next chain one space and work a single and now repeat 16 more times so it's chain one this is repeat number one, chain one and number two, chain one and three here, chain one. So repeat until you have done this repeat 16 times and then you will have 18 single crochets. So starting, so not this, um, not the single here that's in the corner but that first single crochet you made there you will just counting from that one onwards you will have 18 single crochets in total and then we're almost here to the center so I'll see you at that point then the repeat 16 times and then counting those first two single crochets also we now have 18 single crochets along this entire edge you're at the center where you've got a single crochet, the front post single and that single crochet. We're going to skip that first single there and then come to the front post single. That's the one that's right here in the middle and in there we're going to work five half doubles. So we're going to make a small shell here. Two, so in that one stitch we're going to work five half doubles. Three, Four, five half doubles. You see, there's a little, a little shell there. Then skipping the next stitch, that's going to be that single crochet. Skip that. Come to the chain one space and work a single crochet in the chain one space, followed by a chain one. That single crochet chain one. Do that 17 more times. Again here, so that's one, two, three, and when you have 17 you'll be almost 
at the corner. I've now worked the repeat 17 times and that last single crochet falls in the chain one space before the half double here. And I still need to do a chain one because that's also still part of the repeat. And that means you now again have 17, sorry, 18, 18 single crochets starting from the shell here. So that starting from that first single crochet there, right up to here, you now have 18 singles. We're going to a corner, and that's again going to be an asymmetric corner. And I've marked the half double here. We're actually going to skip the half double, so this half double here is just a checkpoint for you, especially for the single crochet. I'm going to remove the marker, and then in the double crochet, so that's a half double, so this is double next to it, work a single, chain one, followed by a half double, which I'm just again going to mark that half double and a double crochet. So that's your corner worked. For the next edge, let me call it the cluster edge. That's edge here with all the cluster stitches. On those 33 stitches you work a cluster on each. That's what you're going to do. This is the first one so work a cluster on that. This one and the second leg. Take them both off and do so again on the second also. And you're going to do that on all 33 of those cluster stitches. So work this entire edge and then I'll just see you for the next corner. I've worked 33 of these cluster stitches and that last one falls in the last cluster. And now you have one double crochet left before you get to the marked half double. In this double here, work another cluster in that double crochet. That means along this edge you now have 34 cluster stitches along this entire edge. Then in the half double, I'm going to work a corner stitch. That's going to be in that half double you work a double crochet followed by a half double and that half double I'm just going to mark again so just checkpoints for me you don't have to mark those stitches if you don't want to chain one and a single and that's your next corner made. And this corner is the same as the corner we started with because you're now on this um, single crochet chain one row again. So you're going to do exactly the same in the entire repeat we just did. Go to that once more. And when you get to the beginning here, which is here with that starting chain two, on that stitch close there with a slip stitch. And when you've completed the last round all the way around, this is what your work looks like. Leave your yarn attached for next week because then we'll be continuing with the white yarn again. So it brings us to the end of part 3. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time for part 4.